Okay, how's it going, everybody? My name is BrickBoy2000. Welcome back to the channel. I apologize for the lack of content on this channel. It's just a bit difficult. It's July. FIFA in July is not the best for content, unless you make bazillions of upgrade packs or bazillions of icon packs. And I can't do either, unfortunately. But if you want to see real content based on this video, come over to the Twitch channel, link in the description, drop a follow, maybe even drop a sub. Drop a sub here too, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But today, we're going through something serious, and that is EA's inability to allow us to play for more. And the value of some of these rewards that we're getting. Because, let's be honest, it's July. Like, the FIFA cycle typically is Septem is a year-long thing. It starts in late September and it finishes. It usually finishes with a few months to spare because no one really cares, but... I always have hope in EA. I always have hope in EA. You've got lots of objectives. You've got Silver Stars, we'll be doing that today. That's, this is actually very good. You play with Silvers. You get good silver cards as the year goes on. Nothing wrong with this one. The problem I have is probably more in regards to stuff like... Weekend can League Plus, where it keeps changing and it's only every certain thing. Icon Swaps is there, because Icon Swaps is always behind the power curve, unless you're willing to put the time in. And even then, I saw someone submit 15 Icon Swaps tokens last night for an Icon Moment attack a 92 plus player pick. Their options were Del Piero, Van Basten, and Owen. So you tell me if that's worth your time, group 15 tokens for a Van Basten. I don't think so. Then we've got regular Icon Swaps. Then we've got these, which are alright, and... This is the point of contention I have, you'll see it. The point of contention is just that, well, as you can see, we're on level 17 at the moment. But, you look at these level 30 cards, and yes, we're looking at Potence, because Potence is a G, we all love Danny Potence around these parts. 4 star, 4 star, high medium, 5-5. Five, five. But, that's not the point. The point is, is that if I was to go for this Potence, and I will try my very best, you best believe. You best believe I will try my absolute best. It's going to take me until the last week of the season, which is still four weeks away. We're still four weeks away from the end of the season, and it's embarrassing because over on 2K, and I put this in a tweet the other day, follow my Twitter, it's just the same as my every other username. I put this in a tweet, and it was... 2k, you can go and get the max level player right now if you put enough time in. And that's my contention with EA, is that, as good as it is, the problem is that by the time I get this card, there's already so many cards better than it. Which is annoying, because if you grind to level 30, you should feel like you've actually achieved something. But no, you've just done all the basic stuff, and you've just tried a little bit harder than usual. Yada yada yada. We know, we know, we know. It's a little annoying, but yeah, we've done it. All that. And it's just not fun. It really isn't fun. Because even now, there is beyond level 40 on 2K, which if you play 2K, you'll know, they give you another... High-rated player, Dark Matter Blake Griffin, I believe it is. And they're always, like, they'll put out packs, and the packs will say, do XP with this player, do XP with that player. So you definitely can get to level 40 if you put the time in. Even if you don't play a, even if you don't play a lot. Some people are hardcore, that they'll just get it in the first day, and then they'll have the free time to do all the challenges for the next stuff. But the problem with FIFA is that they're so for a lack of a better word, unimaginative, that they just go, oh yeah, we'll make a season progress thing and we'll put some half-decent card at the end of it, but the problem is, is that by the time you get the card, there's already two million cards better than it, because we oversaturate the market with promos. Like, that's the issue, is that there's far too many promos in FIFA. I've been saying this for a long time, people disagree with me, people think promos are a good thing. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, who really knows? But, you can't take away the value of these cards. Like, this long lay could be one of the best in the game, but there's far too many good centre-backs, and people just lay right back at centre-back anyway. 
Brahim and Toten there, who really knows? But my bit of contention is that these cards should mean something. And give us more to play for! Like, give us more to play for. Why do you not just give us more to play for? We'll forget that for a second. Let's go to the SPC section. Let's look at some of these cards. Alright, alright. Maybe not this guy, because this guy actually is decent. Hammers. Maybe, maybe Hammers. The oh, speaking of players you should play for. Milestone objectives. It's literally written in the game for you. Like, here's another point of contention that I have, is that the milestones that they've bought out, the most recent ones, which expire, by the way, they expire soon. They expire in two weeks. Still haven't done them all. Unlucky! <laughs> but, yeah. They don't give you players, they give you packs. They go, oh yeah, you need packs, you need this, you need that. Just give us. Say, for example, and this is just, this is just an example. So let me go back to our good friends, the USA National Players, where you, where you have to submit an 83, an 85, 86, okay. Why not just go, right, Josie Altador, you have to win with at least... Three American players in your squad. And John Brooks, you have to win with at least five or six. Then Weston McKenney, if you want to win, you've got to win with 11 American players in your squad for all these matches. And if you want to do them, and if you want to say, for example, do them all at once and you just want to do 11, then that's fine. But give it a challenge. And don't put it in managerial masterpiece. Managerial masterpiece limits what you can use. People don't want to be limited when you're making them use 11 fucking USA players. But that's just me. EA, sign me up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bring you content. Like, this Adair, you should probably be able to play for, because he's a fucking piss-poor card, a piss-poor league. Like, who really uses the Russian League cards? Medium, low work rates in, in July. Oh, no. Medium low work rates, no traits in July. It scares me. Then you've got these, which are fine. And then you've got... The 87 triple upgrade is back, because you knew they were going to bring that back. No even know if I'm going to do it. And then the icon content is just a little bit stale, isn't it? But let's go back to live content and see if there's any more. I don't think there is. Well, there's market matchups. And there's a tip of the week upgrade. But we've done everything else. We've done everything else on this account, just because I can't be bothered. I really can't. But yeah, that's my main gripe, is that content, if you want to play for it, is actually quite bad. And it gets surpassed really quick. Which sucks, because look at my team, for example. Look at what I have. I have all these players, our first owner, SBCs, or there's one, two bought players. But still, they're either SBCs, or they're not objective cards, because the objectives are just so not that good. They gave Lucas Hernandez as an objective. I threw him away, because France aren't getting upgraded, and he ain't worth keeping. That's just me. Obviously. Obviously, if you wish to hold your players, be my guest. But for me... It's nothing personal, it's just, I don't appreciate the content that is going to be provided. Just make the content better. Let me get to level 30 in less than a week to go. Two weeks, maybe. So you at least have time to just go, right, if there's any more challenges, which you should do, or you should say, listen, we'll give you an extra fucking boost on your player that you choose, if you choose them, and then maybe have a separate upgrade path. Let's say, for example, Longley, you have to keep five clean sheets in Rivals. Or you have to keep... Maybe one, because one's a bit tough. Or you have to... Score using French defenders in squad battles or something, but... Make it tough, but also don't make it too tough, so that people don't go right and get turned away. 
but yeah, that's my whole gripe with this content that they're bringing out. It's the end of the year. If Summer Stars does not fucking produce, I will not be happy, and I probably may not play this game seriously anymore. If not for Weekend League, I wouldn't be playing this game seriously. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this part of the video. We've now got a icon pick roulette that I got from one of my viewers the other night, which is good fun. We've got a nice icon, even though he's not the cheapest. I mean, he's not the most expensive. We've got a good player, and we've got a few Dutch icons. That's all I'll really say about it. But, yeah, you won't. I won't be able to do an intro. I mean, end of it, end of the video. So... Make sure, as always, you like, you comment, you subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow the Twitch channel. We'll be back on Twitch today at some point after I record this video. Maybe a good three, two, three hours after this goes up, so who knows. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. It's going to be absolutely fucking nuts. Let's see. Let's get the prediction rolling. A b unban request! Sheesh! Leave the unman. I know who this is. Huh? Coxie, what the fuck? I thought this was someone else. Let me see. What does this say? <laughs> Coxie! What the fuck did you do? It says, Hello moderators of the channel, BrokeBoy2000, I'm mainly lurking in, with this account, which makes me believe that a chat ban isn't necessary. I mean, DENY NA! Unban. Send unban. VAR review! VAR review, hold on. No, hold on, where's the sound? Where is the sounds? My instance. We're gonna get... We're gonna get... We're gonna unban him. <laughs> there we go. Prediction is in. A hundred kebabs, so basically. Simply put, Tomo gets his kebabs either way. Tomo gets his kebabs either way. I can't believe it. It's a one, it's a guaranteed prediction. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking milk this. Where are the Timmies? The Timmies... We've actually lost viewers. Oh dear. Now, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna turn my TV off. We'll just switch the source. There we go. There we go. Stat reveal. Well, yes. Well, we'll reveal... I mean, we can do each one, surely. Why not? We'll do a stat reveal for each one. So we'll start on the left or the right. We'll click in. Oh my god, this is fucking mental. I'm borrowing this for the YouTube content, by the way, so. So we're clicking on the in games. Oh my god, Jesus, I mean, he's got stamina! He has the stamina, that's all we can say. I'll move the camera as well so you can see the stats. Camera's gonna be covering some shit, but who cares. So he's got poor stamina, poor defending. He can dribble, which is a good start. He can pass, he's a damn passer. He has, oh no, this can't be very good. Tomo's finally fucking done it. We're milking. 97 pace, sheesh, who is this, and, <clears throat> okay, so that's icon number one, that is not very good, that is not very good, now let me, let me cover it up again, and make sure, let me sure, so let me just, Confirm that where it's not Shearer. Okay, now we've got this one in the middle. The one in the middle. We're doing this for everyone. <laughs> okay, so 89 physical with 93 stab. 92 defending. Eh, it could be. It could be a CDM. It may be a CDM. He's got decent dribbling. I'm scared for this. He's got 87 passing. He has 
78 shooting. He has 79 pace. Ah, I mean, it's still not that good, but... Two Dutch icons. Fuck me. So, at the moment, rest of world is winning, and they're winning by a fucking landslide. So, confirm that we have... <laughs> One more, please. So, this last one is probably the one that gets taken. For the love of God, somehow I've milked this for four minutes. We're here. We're going to start at the back. 75 physical with no strength. Leads me to believe that it's a winger. Or just a shit attacker. Yeah. Defending with heading, so we, can def so we can head. He can dribble. Okay, that's a, that's a good start. He can dribble. He can't pass. He can shoot. And he can run. Who the fuck is it? Oi! Sweet! That is... I mean, he's dirt cheap. He's dirt fucking cheap. But that is indeed a... I mean, it could be worse. Just remember, it could have been fucking Nakata. So there is your pick. I mean, I don't know who he replaces, but... Congratulations. Get him in the club. Get him in the club. Coxie is fuming because it's the only Scottish icon in the game. And he's a pog. But yes, there it is.